Hi, I'm Rocco Steno and welcome to Storymakers. Today we have Paul Mizell with us. Paul is an illustrator and an author. You've illustrated this book, Swamp Chomp, uh, which was written by Lola Schaefer, and another book by Lola Schaefer called Run For Your Life, Predators and Prey of the African Savannah. You've written and illustrated books also. See me dig. I wonder what they're digging for. I guess we have to read that. And See Me Run. And See Me Run has one of these uh, little stickers on it. Uh, Paul, what's that sticker? Guys of Honor. And that's given to um, picture books? It's for early readers, for beginning readers. Your latest book is My Awesome Summer. You know, the one thing I noticed is, uh, well, looking at these books, there's animals in, the, uh, in all four of these books. But this, you're moving away from animals. It says, My Awesome Summer by P. Mantis. Mmm, so I thought your name was Paul Mizell. So who's P. Mantis? Well, it's a praying mantis that was uh, in my yard for most of the summer, along with a lot of siblings. And uh, she wrote her own story. She wrote her own story. Mmm. So you kind of hung around with, the, uh, with P. Mantis for the summer, and uh, you kind of uh, found her story and you put it into uh, this book. It's almost a, a life cycle type of uh, book. So uh, how did you uh, discover P. Mantis? You said it was in your yard. Didn't know what it was. It was right. It's on a bush in the backyard. Uh -huh. And uh, my son was there with his girlfriend. We kind of made a wager of what, what was in it. So I took it in my studio, mm -hmm. put it in a jar, and uh, sometime in May, this happened. Ah. About 150 praying mantises were born in this jar. And uh, it was pretty obvious they were little baby praying mantises because they're extremely unique looking with their little triangular heads and uh, skinny bodies and long legs. Did you know anything about praying mantis? Not a lot, just that um, they eat other insects. I knew that they were considered beneficial insects. What's a beneficial uh, insect? The praying mantises are, are sold for gardeners and farmers, people that uh, want to eliminate or reduce the number of pests that uh, eat their crops or eat, eat flowers. So I could actually buy those little, yeah. uh, what are those little round things called? Uthicas or egg cases. Egg cases, yep. yes. So we can buy those. Yep, anybody can. And then we could have, what's the plural of, is it manti, praying manti? It's mantises or mantids. They eat other insects. So uh, what are their favorite uh, insects to eat? Beetles, caterpillars, moths, mm -hmm. um, whatever comes along. So another interesting thing about a praying mantis is that they're able to do something with their head. Well, they can swivel their head like a human can. Like this? Yeah. Oh. And they're the only insect that can do that. What type of creatures like uh, to eat praying mantis? Birds, bats, uh -huh. spiders, uh, mm -hmm. although they eat some spiders. Depends who catches who first. One of the things I was like a little surprised at uh, in reading the book is that they actually eat each other, is that true? Yeah, in fact on the jar it says uh, after they're born to take them outside, don't leave them in a con uh, closed container because they will eat each other. Mm. So in my book I have them eating each other. Is that in the book they eat their brothers and sisters, is that true? They do. They. Uh, they're known for that. That's um, not that common. But if there's other food around, they'll eat the, the other, other food, food first. Yes. Well, I'm not sure. Oh, Maybe. we're not sure. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I got to know P. Mantis, but she didn't tell me about that aspect. So you have a jar filled with praying mantises, and uh, you have your friend P. Mantis. And you said to yourself, I'm going to write a book? Actually, no. Over the course of the summer, I kept seeing these praying mantises all over the yard in various places, usually places where they are camouflaged. And then I, I actually thought that P. Mantis was watching me because for a while she came and hung out on the window and a couple hours later, uh, her, her autobiography was, was done. 
And so what's the process uh, uh, that you and P. Mantis uh, used in creating this uh, autobiography? It's good to uh, work at home and have your studio at home so I could uh, go out in the yard at, when I took a break and look at the flowers and there would be a praying mantis. And I would just make note of where they were, what they were doing. And it always seemed like, you know, they, they're called praying mantises because they look like they're praying and that's how they hunt. Meaning like they're kneeling and, uh, and praying. Well, the, or, yeah, that's, or, that's where or they got the name from. Yeah. They use those raptorial legs. What's a raptorial leg? Well, the raptorial leg is, is uh, the hunting legs, mm -hmm. legs that have these little sharp points on them which they use to grab their prey. Mm -hmm. If you go on the internet, you can see them with hummingbirds and mice. They like to eat mice occasionally. They're pretty good hunters. Did you see P. mantis eat any uh, other creatures? I did not. Oh, okay. I did not. Uh, usually they were just hanging around either upside down. They, they hang out upside down when they shed their skin. I said you're an author and illustrator. Or should I say you're an illustrator and author? Are you more an illustrator or more an author? Well, that's definitely fair to say. Mm -hmm. I definitely, for 30 something years, was mostly an illustrator. You brought some of your uh, sketches from the book. I started sketching on uh, tracing paper because I could fax. Probably most people don't know what fax machines are these days, but tracing paper would go easily through the fax. People might be surprised that my sketches and that's the cover. Are, is that the pretty basic compared to other artists sketches? They're they're not as elaborate. They're they're more to tell me what the composition is. I really do most of my work when I'm painting with the uh, the P. Mantis book, uh, it's all pieces. There really is no original. It's all traditionally done, but it's all put together like a puzzle mm -hmm. in Photoshop. There'll be, you know, fragments of right. the... So you did each character separately, and mm -hmm. then you, and you put them all together. Yeah, I used to just draw the whole picture. Mm -hmm. This is great because you can rearrange things mm -hmm. more easily. You can outline things. I also do a lot of experimentation. Is this a uh, uh, watercolor or is this, what type of paint is this? That's actually liquid acrylic. And here we have P. Mantis. This is the actual flower from the cover. Mm-hmm. Let me hold that up. Let's hold them up together. This one has the bat. Prey mantis should worry when there's a bat around. Their defense is looking like a stick. So camouflage is their best defense. If something large approaches them, they will stand up on their hind legs and wave their arms and hiss to look scary. So the end sheets are filled with different facts and information about praying mantis and there are websites and a glossary right there to get more information. So what's your favorite spread? This one. Ah, it's not exactly my dog Coco, but she's a labradoodle, and she actually inspired those two books, See Me Run and See Me Dig. My favorite spread, three different types of birds. Your next book, it's sort of a bird book, isn't it? In the same way that um, P. Mantis was based on uh, observation and something real that was happening in my backyard, I have birdhouses and some bluebirds made a, a home in uh, my birdhouse. My next book is going to be called My Awesome Year by E.B. Bird. E.B. Bird, another autobiography. You're following insects and now birds around. And uh, we'll love to know the secret life of uh, bluebirds. And you're going to tell us in that next book. So I can't wait for your new book uh, to come out. And all of these books are all published by Holiday House. That's right. Yes. Thanks for being here. This was a lot of fun. And I can't wait to learn more about bluebirds. Terrific. Yes. Thank you. Remember, until next time, give a kid a book in any format.